Welcome to the Creative Pugza. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a realistic coin in a fit new photo. First, go to File New. Go to Web. Then set the page width and page height to 1300 pixels. Set the DPI to 72 and check the transparent background box. Next, grab the Move tool from the Tools panel. Press Ctrl and R to activate the rulers if they aren't activated, or go to the View menu and select Show Rulers. Also, turn on Snapping in the Toolbar. Take the Move tool and drag a guide from the left ruler and drag it to the center of the document. Then, drag a guide from the top ruler and drag it to the center of the document. Go to View and click Lock Guides. Now, we can start creating the coin. Now, grab the Ellipse tool from the Tools panel. Press Ctrl and Shift and draw an ellipse that's 1,236 pixels by 1,236 pixels. You can turn on the Lock Aspect Ratio on the Transform panel and type the number into the Width and Height section. Go to the Swatches panel. Double click on the Fill Color and enter the following hex code number, 676767. Then press Ctrl and J two times. Grab the Move tool. Next, select the second duplicated ellipse, the one on the top. Press Ctrl and Shift to make the ellipse slightly smaller than the original one. Now, select both of the duplicated ellipses. Then, go to the Boolean Operations panel and select Subtract. This will create the outer ring for the coin. Label the original circle Main and the ring Outer Ring. Select the outer ring layer. Then, go to the Swatches panel and change the color to the following hex code number, 757575. After that, grab the Ellipse tool again from the Tools panel. Take the tool and draw a smaller ellipse inside of the main one. Hold Ctrl and Shift while doing this. Then, go to the Swatches panel and set the ellipse to the following hex code number, 7C7C7C. We're going to change the color of the coin later on. With the new ellipse selected, press Ctrl and J to duplicate it. Select the original small ellipse. Then take the Move tool and make the ellipse slightly larger. Press Ctrl and Shift to do this. Then go to the Swatches panel and change the color of the ellipse to the following hex code number, 707070. Once you've done that, select the smaller duplicated ellipse. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate it. Now, select the original ellipse we made bigger and the first smaller duplicated ellipse. Then, go to the Boolean Operations panel and select Subtract. This will create the inner ring of the coin. Label the ring Inner Ring and the smaller ellipse Inner. Now, we'll start to add some layer effects to the coin to add a 3D realistic look. Select the main layer in the Layers panel. Click the FX Layers Effect icon. Check the gradient overlay box and select it. Set the angle to 125 degrees and set the scale X and scale Y to 150%. Then check the scale with object box. With the main layer selected, copy the layer. Then select the outer ring layer. Now go to the edit menu and select paste FX to paste the effects to this layer. Next, click the FX icon on the outer ring. Go to the gradient overlay. Change the blend mode to multiply and lower the opacity to 30%. Also, lower the fill opacity to 65%. Now, check the bevel emboss box and select it. Change the type to inner. Set the soften to five pixels. Then, set the azimuth to 120 degrees and the elevation to 53 degrees. After that, select the outer ring layer and copy it. Now, select the inner layer. Go to the edit menu and select Paste FX. Select the FX icon on the inner layer. Uncheck the bevel and bars. Next, go to the gradient overlay and change the opacity to 20%. Now, copy the inner layer. Then, select the inner ring layer. Go to the edit menu and select Paste FX. Next, click the FX icon on the inner ring layer. Check the bevel and bars and select it. 
Change the opacity of the highlight and the shadow to 80%. Next, go to the gradient overlay. Change the opacity to 60%, then set the offset X and offset Y to 50%. After that, select the inner layer. Go to the swatches panel and change the color of this layer to 8A8A8A. Now grab the double star tool from the tools panel. Go to the context toolbar. Set the points to 100 and the radius to 0% and the points radius to 100%. Next, go to the swatches panel and get rid of the fill color. Then select the stroke. Set the color of the stroke to the following hex code number, 575757. Draw a double star that covers the coin. Press Ctrl and Shift to do this. With the double star layer selected, click the FX icon in the Layers panel. Check the Outline box and select it. Set the radius to 1 pixel and set the alignment to inside. And check the Scale with Object box. Leave the other settings as is. Take the double star layer and drag it inside of the outer ring layer. After that, click on the FX icon on the double star layer. Go to the outline and lower the opacity to about 20%. Now check bevel and boss and select it. Set the settings to the same way you see it on the screen. You can adjust the settings to your own preference. Now grab the star tool from the tools panel. Take the tool and press Ctrl and Shift and draw a star at the top part of the inner ring. You may need to zoom in to do this. Press Shift and X to switch the fill color to the stroke color. Once you've done that, press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the star to the bottom of the inner ring. We want to add stars around the inner ring. Next, go to the context toolbar and click on Enable Transform Origin. Take the transform origin and place it in the center of the coin. This will be the rotation point that the other stars we add will rotate around. Select both of the stars. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the stars. Next, go to the transform panel. Go to the rotation and type 22.5 degrees. This will rotate the duplicated stars by 22.5 degrees. Now, press Ctrl and J six times to place duplicated stars around the inner ring. These stars will be evenly distributed around the ring. Select all of the stars. Press Ctrl and G to group them together and label the group stars. Next, select the outer ring layer and copy it. Then select the stars group. Go to the edit menu and select paste FX to paste the layer effects onto the star group. Click on the FX icon of the stars group. Go to the gradient overlay and lower the opacity to 10%. Now click on the bevel embossed and change the type to embossed. Unlink the lock aspect ratio. Then set the radius to one pixel, the depth to three pixels, and the soften to zero pixels. Now we'll add some text to the coin. Grab the ellipse tool from the tools panel. Press Ctrl and Shift and draw an ellipse that stretches past the inner ring. Get rid of the fill and stroke color in the swatches panel. Now grab the artistic text tool from the tools panel. Take the tool and place it along the ellipse on the left side. You should see a T with a squiggly line beneath it. Once you do, click on the ellipse. Now type United States in all caps or whatever you want to type. If your text is upside down, click the reverse text path icon in the context toolbar. Next, go to the font size and increase the size of the text. Select the text, then go to the font family. Select the copper plate gothic bold font you downloaded. The link is in the description of this video. In the context toolbar, set the text to align center. If you need to adjust the text, move the green and red stop so that the text looks like the way you see it on the screen. Go to the character panel and set the tracking to 50%. With the text layer selected, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the text layer. 
Then press shift and rotate the duplicated text 180 degrees. Now select the text and type 2022. Go to the context toolbar and select reverse text path so that the text is at the bottom part of the coin. Next, go to the context toolbar and set the baseline to 50%. Select both text layers. Set the color of both text layers to the following hex code number, 8A8A8A. We'll now add layer effects to the text. Select the outer ring layer and copy it. Next, select the first text layer. Go to the edit menu and select paste FX. Now click on the FX icon on the text layer. Go to the gradient overlay and lower the opacity to 15%. After that, go to the bevel and boss. Set the type to enter. Set the radius to 10 pixels and the depth to 12 pixels. Then set the soften to three pixels. Now copy the text layer. Then select the other text layer. Go to the edit menu and select Paste FX. Click the FX icon on the second text layer. Go to the gradient overlay and increase the opacity to 40%. Now go to the bevel and boss. Set the radius to seven pixels and set the depth to 30 pixels. Now we'll add the image that'll be the centerpiece of the coin. Go to File Open and select the image you downloaded. It'll open in a new tab. Now grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. In the Context toolbar, set the mode to Add and check the Snap to Edges box. Then take the brush and make a selection of the man. Once you've done that, press Ctrl and J to place a copy of the selection onto a new layer. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Turn the original layer off. With the new layer selected, press Ctrl and J two times to duplicate the layer. Turn the first duplicated layer off. Now press Ctrl and I to invert the layer or go to the edit menu and select invert. Set the blend mode of this layer to color dodge. After that, go to the live filters layer and select Gaussian blur. Set the radius to one pixel. Make sure the adjustment layer is nested to the inverted layer. Select the layer with the live filter and the duplicated layer that's turned on. Press Ctrl, Shift, and E to merge the layers together. Now click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and select the Threshold Adjustment. Set the threshold to 95%. Now select the Merged layer and the Threshold layer. Press Ctrl, Shift, and E to merge these two layers together. Select the newly merged layer. Click the Develop Persona. Go to the Basic tab and check the Enhance box. Set the contrast to negative 45% and the clarity to negative 85%. Then go to the Details tab. Check the Noise Reduction box. Set the Luminance to 60% and the Luminance Details to 70%. Then hit Develop. You'll then be placed back into the Photo Persona. Next, copy this layer and paste it onto the Coin document. Place it between the inner layer and the inner ring layer. Then drag the layer inside of the inner layer. In the transform panel, turn on the lock aspect ratio if it's not turned on. Then grab the move tool and resize the man inside the coin the way you see him on the screen. Click the add pixel layer icon to add a new layer. Make sure it's inside of the inner layer above the man. Press control and click the thumbnail of the man layer to reactivate the selection. Then select the pixel layer we added. Go to the swatches panel and double click the fill color. Enter the following hex code number, 7B7B7B. Now go to the edit menu and select fill with primary color. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Select the inner layer and copy it. Then select the main man layer. Go to the edit menu and select paste FX. Check the bevel and boss box. Set the type to in boss, radius to 11 pixels, depth to three pixels, and soften to 10 pixels. 
Then set the azimuth to 120 degrees and the elevation to 53 degrees. Select the first text layer in the Layers panel and click the FX icon. Check the outer shadow box. Set the radius and offset to 0.5 pixels. Then set the intensity to 3%. Make sure the blend mode is set to multiply. Now copy this text layer. Next, select the second text layer. Then go to the Edit menu and select Paste FX. Click the FX icon of the second text layer. Now go to the outer shadow. Set the radius to 1.3 pixels, offset to 1 pixel, and the intensity to 5%. Once you've done that, go to the Layers panel and select all of the layers. Select the first layer, then scroll down. Press and hold Shift and select the last layer in order to select everything. Then press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and E to merge the layers together. Or right click on the selected layers and click Merge Visible. Label the layer Coin and turn the original layers off. Select the Coin layer. Click the Adjustments icon and select the Recolor Adjustment. We'll now add the gold color to the coin. Set the hue to 45 degrees, saturation to 35%, and lightness to negative 15%. Make sure the adjustment is on top of everything. Now click the adjustments icon again. This time select the Curves adjustment. Go to the green channel. Click and add a point in the middle and drag it slightly down. Next, go to the blue channel. Add a point slightly above the middle part of the curve and drag it down. Then add a point further up the curve and drag it up some. In the Layers panel, click the Add Pixel Layer icon. Place this layer beneath the two adjustment layers and between the coin. Grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. Go to the Brushes panel. Select one of the round, light brushes from the basic brushes. In the Context toolbar, set the opacity to 40%. Then go to the Swatches panel. Double click the Fill color and enter the following hex code number. 90782E. Turn the two adjustment layers off for now. Select the layer we added. Now take the brush and paint the man's hair and beard. Change the blend mode of this layer to luminosity. After that, turn the two adjustment layers back on. Now select the coin layer and the gold painted layer. Then press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and E to merge these two layers together. Press Ctrl and semicolon to remove the guidelines. Next, go to File Open and select the metal texture layer you downloaded. Place the texture inside of the Merge Coin layer. Grab the Move tool and resize the texture layer the way you see it on the screen. Set the Blend Mode to Multiply and lower the opacity to 45%. You can experiment with the Blend Modes to find the one that fits your design. Another good Blend Mode to use for this particular one is Difference. Then you can lower the opacity to 20 to 25%. And this is how to create a realistic coin in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching.